we will learn to configure the basic deployment of Vano. To configure the Vano, you should know to follow in basic knowledge. There are three basic deployment of Vano. Gateway mode, single arm mode, village mode. And in village mode, there are single village and double village too. To configure the Vano, you should log in the equipment first. Input, input the administrator account and password. Log in the control panel. Then click the deploy setting mute button on the left. In service mode setting, you can select the acceleration only or VPN and acceleration. Remember that in VPN and acceleration only the gaming mode is active. Fill in the LAN setting. Input the IP address, subnet mask, and MTU. Then fill in the WAN info. If you are using a DSL line, you can select the PPPoE type and fill in your DSL account and password. Then enable the OctoDAV function. In advanced attribute setting, you can set up the handshake time timeout and timeout time. In the WAN line type, if you select the DHCP, you will need to do nothing. For the WAN node, we'll get the IP information from the DHCP server automatically. Select the Ethernet type, then fill in the fax IP, subnet mask, default gateway, MTU. All this information you can get from your ISP. Fill in the DMZU IP address and subnet. Fill in the primary and secondary DNS too. After you finish all these steps, remember the last step is to collect the save and apply. Okay, now let's take some practice. Log in the equipment with your administrator account and password. Then click the deploy setting mute button on the left. In service mode, we can select acceleration only or VPN and acceleration. Remember that in VPN and acceleration, only the gateway mode is active. Fill in the LAN port IP address, subnet mask, and MTU. In the WAN port setting, if you are using a DSL line, you can select the PPPoE line type, then input your DSL account and password. Remember to enable the OctoDAV function. In advanced attribute setting, we can set up the handshake time, timeout, and timeout time. If we select the DHCP setting, we will need to do nothing for the Vano will get the IP information from the DHCP server automatically. In Ethernet setting, we can set up the fixed IP, subnet mask, default gateway, MNTBU. Of course, we can set up the mounted IP here. Fill in the DMZU IP address and subnet. Fill in the primary and secondary DNS too. After we finish all these steps, the last step remember to click the save and apply. In single arm mode, Collect the acceleration only service mode. 
select the single arm deployment mode. Then fill in the LAN, DNS, IP information, and click the save and apply at last. Okay, now let's take some practice. Log in the equipment. Click the deploy setting mute button on the left. Select the acceleration only service mode. Select the deploy setting. Fill in the LAN IP address, subnet mask, default gateway, and MTU. Fill in the primary and secondary DNS. After all, click the save and apply. In single village mode, Click the village deployment mode. And then you can select the village interface. LAN to WAN1 or DMZU to WAN2. Then fill in the logic IP information. Also, you can set up the mounting IP here. Select the manager interface. If you select LAN to WAN1 for village, then you can pick the DMZU or WAN2 for manager interface. Instead, if you select DMZU to WAN2 for village, you can pick the LAN or WAN1 for manager interface too. Fill in the manager and DNS IP info. And remember to click the save and apply at last. Now let's take some practice. Log in the equipment first. Click the deploy setting mute button on the left. In acceleration service mode, click the village deployment. Select the village interface, LAN to WAN1 or DMZU to WAN2. Fill in the logic IP information. Also, we can set up the mounting IP here. Select the manager interface. If we select LAN to WAN1 for village interface, we can select the DMZU to or WAN2 for manager interface. Otherwise, if we select DMZU to WAN2 for village, we can select LAN or WAN1 for manager interface. Fill in the manager interface IP information. Fill in the primary and secondary DNS2. Remember the last step to click save and apply. In double village mode, click the double village deployment and then fill in the two village IP info. Or we can set up the mounted IP in both village. After that, fill in the virtual IP and DNS. And remember to click the save and apply at last. Okay, now let's take some practice. Log in the equipment first.
Press the deploy setting mu button on the left. Select the double village deployment. And then fill in the two village IP information. Also, we can set up the mounted IP here. After that, fill in the virtual IP and primary and secondary IP information. Remember to collect the safe and apply at last. About all is the base setting of the three deployment. If you have any question about the deployment, please call send for hotline or local FAE for confirmation. Thanks for your listening. Goodbye.